Good morning, everyone. It's a bit early. I'm, I'm going to work. Today's video is、uh, a podcast study for head on person. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. We have six fontanels. You have the anterior fontanel here, you have the posterior fontanel here, and then you have the temporal、uh, fontanel and then the mastoid. Of course, we have、uh, two of each side. Right, so total of six.、Um, you can look at the brain from each of these fontanelles. So let's start with the、uh, sagittal view at the midline. So this is how the、uh, brain at the midline looks like when you look at it sagittally. Just as a reminder, with a little bit of neuroanatomy, this is the corpus callosum here, as you see, which is in the midline. This black area here is not a ventricle, right? Because there is no ventricle here. This is the cavum septum pilosum. And then you have a frontal lobe here. You have this globe here. It's the thalamus, actually.、Uh, this is the occipital lobe here. This is the frontal lobe here.、But、the third ventricle is in the middle, actually, here, as you can see. This is the、uh, cerebellum. This is the fourth ventricle. You can see it here. Now, when we move a little bit more laterally, whether we're on the right or left side, We're gonna see most of the ventricle.、Uh, this is a lateral ventricle on one of the side. This is the frontal horn of the lateral ventricle. This is the、uh, occipital horn, and this is the temporal horn. This white area here is the choroid plexus, as you can see, and of course, this is a periventricular white matter. The globe we talked about earlier. This is it.、Uh, this is the thalamus, and、uh, there is caudate nucleus here. So. This groove here, there is a little bit of groove here. It's called caudothalamic groove. This is how grade one IVH looks like. So、uh, it starts in the caudothalamic groove,、uh, which is a very very fragile area there. You can see a little bit of bright、uh, blood that does not extend inside the ventricle, and this is what we call grade one IVH. Now, when that clot is a little bit bigger. Uh, and extending to、uh, inside the ventricle, this is when、uh, it is grade two IVH, as you can see here. Now, when it's too much blood filling most of the ventricle, as you can see here, or if there is a dilation in the、uh, ventricle, then this is grade three IVH. So this is an example of grade three IVH. Now, furthermore, when there is Intraparenchymal bleed. This is what we call grade four IVH. So this is more lateral to the previous view. We're cutting the basically the white matter, and it's a very important view because sometimes we can see periventricular echogenicity,、uh, which may mean something in、uh, preterm or may mean nothing,、uh, or it could be start of the、uh, PBL, as you know. Uh, we're starting to see a few、uh, cysts here, for example, and this is basically a PBL or periventricular cystic changes. Now, this is of course a much worse、uh, picture,、uh, and it represents an extensive cystic periventricular leukomalacia. Also, we look at the ventricular dilation. This ventricle, as you can see, is very dilated. Most likely, it represents posthemorrhagic hydrocephalus. Now we're going to move to the coronal view.、Uh, we're going to see basically the frontal lobe. This is the right side, and this is the left side. And this is the interhemispheric fissure. Now moving backward a little bit, we're starting to see the, both of the ventricles. This is the right、uh, lateral ventricle, and this is the left、uh, lateral ventricle.、Uh, you still can see the caudate thalamus on each side, and the black thing in the middle is the cavum septum pilosum. Now moving backward a little bit, you're gonna start to see the choroid plexus in each side. This is how grade one IVH looks like. So you can see bright clot here. This is an example of dilated ventricles on the coronal view. Now moving backward, you're gonna see the body of the lateral ventricle on each side, and of course the bright thing inside it is the choroid plexus. This is grade two IVH when you see bright clot extending to inside the ventricle. This is more blood, and this is grade three IVH. Furthermore, this is more intense, and this is grade four IVH. As you see, there is a little bit of extension to inside the brain, and then this is a posterior cut of the brain, and you're looking at the occipital lobe. Now, also, you can look at the brain from the posterior fontanel, and actually, it's a very good view because you can see the cerebellum, and you can look at cerebellar hemorrhages.
This is transverse view of a baby with post-hemorrhagic hydrocephalus and you can see the dilated lateral ventricles on each side as well as a dilated third ventricle. Now actually if you have a good hand skill using the probe you can see the whole circle of Willis. Of course when we Doppler one of the arteries we get the low Doppler pattern. We can calculate also the resistive index that is used in neonatal neurology and has some clinical value as well. The way to calculate it is we calculate the peak systolic velocity of the Doppler here and end diastolic velocity. So peak systolic velocity minus end systolic velocity divided by the peak systolic velocity. And that's it. I hope that was helpful and stay tuned for the next video.